On this video I'm just going to give you a quick overview of some of the additional power that you can get uh, by using a spreadsheet with BetAngel. And what I'm going to be doing here is inserting uh, some buttons. Now this takes a bit more effort and work and is considered you know above beginners level it's you're into advanced territory here but basically the amount of capacity you have with the spreadsheet is not limited to pulling data across copying information and triggering commands you can do all sorts of really clever things and putting buttons in is is a useful way of automating and increasing the scope of what you're going to be doing so um, let me give you an example of that what I can do is I'm looking to insert um, a button or a form here and what we're going to do is I'm going to use a spin button and uh, we're going to put a spin button in over here so in design mode um, you just have to control the shape and size of your spin button but if you uh, double click this um, or in fact if I bring up the format control then what you can actually do is assign values to it. So here you can see it says cell link. So if we nominate a cell link to it, we're going to link. Um, I'm going to link this cell here, F2, F, F21 rather. We'll go back to there, and I'm going to say the minimum value of this cell is zero. The maximum cell value here is a thousand, and it goes up in increments of ten. And then I'm going to OK that. So now if I click away from the button that I've just designed, you watch what happens. Um, that now has a value assigned to it, which I'm controlling from this button. So for example, we could actually put on here stake, and if I just right align that, um, we could control the stake from here. But at the moment all we're doing is using the spin button to move the value of cell F21 up and down. We need to link that to our main spreadsheet. So if we go back to the main BetAngel spreadsheet here, go back to our stake area and I do equals that cell reference there. And then if I want to bump the stake up to £100 and if I click back on the BetAngel spreadsheet here, you can see that the stake has automatically been transposed across there. So all of a sudden we're controlling all of the actions on the BetAngel spreadsheet without actually being on it. And we're using buttons to do that as well. And as you can see here, you've got a whole range of controls and buttons that you can use. And you know, one of the more popular ones is you, is you could create a, a button here. Just ignore that for the moment. Um, which says back <laughs> or words to that effect and if we control that form there you could actually trigger a back command just by clicking on this and then using the command to transpose a, a back command on the remainder of the spreadsheet over here so a lot of flexibility um, that you can have from there or you could link elements within here so you could say if that percentage is greater than 20 then issue a back command and you can see here it says false and that's because that value is not true so you can either say uh, this command here is saying if d12 if this value here is higher than 0 0.2 higher than 20 percent then back else well what do you want it to do so you could say um, not happening at the moment and then you can see the value is is held there but if we went in and changed that value to 0.25 back it says um, or you can have a big button that you want to press There's, you can mix and match all of these sort of things you can, you can use this to change the stake you can allow it to give you a commentary you can do many different things from here or if you didn't want to have such a strong dialogue you could just get it to blank it out or you can let it make its mind up for you and then you can actually take this value and transpose that as well. So we can tell here that cell E24 will issue the back command with a stake of £10. So if I go to here and do equals, and I think we said E24, didn't we? 
There it is. And if I do my not happening at the moment, there you go. <laughs> it says it on there as well. So it, it's, you know, there's so much depth you could build into it depending upon what you want to do. And you can write macros and VBA um, scripting in the background and link it all in to buttons, to text, to commentary. Um, there's, there's a lot of depth that you can create in here. And what I suggest is that you play around and get comfortable with, with that level of depth. But um, tons of flexibility is what I'm trying to show you here. And you use that to your advantage.